The theme of this year's International Youth Day, Transforming Education, highlights efforts to make education more relevant, more equitable and more inclusive for all youth. What can we do to transform education to become more relevant, equitable and inclusive? How can we ensure that young people with disabilities, teenage mothers, youth with HIV and those in vulnerable situations like conflict and extreme poverty complete their basic education? I think it would enable the youth to be more interested in learning key things that would better themselves rather than concentrating on just passing examinations. The curriculum that we have, it tunes cramming things and not critical thinking. I need human rights as a course unit, but still I do public information work, which is not what we learn in those schools. So I think that government should partner with these organizations and companies to make this accessible to students in school. The rich and the privileged don't manipulate the poor to use the opportunities to better themselves. You can see children littering around in a school uniform and you are not even bothered to take them back to school or to ask which school are you to. So it could be a corporate struggle for both of us. You have already been told about UNESCO being the lead UN organization in charge of education and its core function is contribute to building of peace, the eradication of poverty, sustainable development, and intercultural dialogue through its major programs of education, the sciences, culture, communication, and information. For me, I believe uh, the paradigm change in education to be three faceted. One, where well, we have a revision of the government uh, scholarship system to actually aid the indigent person, not those who have excelled in good schools. Initially, they used to say science courses were only for boys. Believe me, most parents would always encourage young girls to go for marriage so that they can get the dower to sell and take the young boys to school. The education system we want in gender is uh, the system that promotes equality. The same thing a boy can do is the same thing the girl can also do. Yeah, career guidance is not a one day talk, but career guidance should be uh, something that is embraced by the teachers to help students understand who they are and what they really have to do to achieve their goals and dreams. The government should know that demand what is needed right now? We should be competing, competing internationally, but we cannot compete if our education is not demand driven. For me, the future of education is an education system where young girls are not actually sexually harassed at school. They are not being exploited by teachers. Schools are having a sexual policy that is making sure that our girls are safe and actually having good education while in school. I need one that we that involves a competence-based curriculum, not one where you go and study for 16 years from primary to university. For me, the future of education is whereby we can uh, see a situation whereby a girl child who doesn't have uh, pads can actually go to class and study very well. Then let's not wait for grants to have projects. There are projects that are non-financial that we can implement by moving, by talking. Let me reiterate that as the European Union, we will also try to ensure that young people continue to benefit from development programs to lobbying the government of Uganda to ensure establishment of functional systems and processes. It's not that the time of the youth will come, the time of the youth is now.